if you'd like to earn, learn more, just go to fairtax.org. And also, if you go to redcounty.com, I just wrote an article about it. Yes, ma'am. Um, then, uh, how would you feel about a value-added tax? Is there some no. A value-added tax is a tax on every stage of production. And it's hidden. And, it's hidden. and so politicians love it, bureaucrats love it. It's not the fair tax. It's totally, totally different. Yes, sir. My understanding of the federal revenues is about 40% come from income taxes. So if we actually reverted to Article 1, Section 8, I would be willing to bet some pretty good money we'd eliminate way more than 40% of the federal expenditures. Oh, you're right. So I think that we don't even need a fair tax. You're right. You're right. You're right. So but, but the spending has to be attacked separately. If we could just return the government to the year 2000 spending, that would cut the government in half. You could eliminate the federal income tax entirely. Not all the other taxes, though. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm with you. We've got two problems. We've got spending, and then we've got a corrupt tax code. Yes, sir, and then I'll get you in the back again. Oh, for what? A while ago, uh, the state of Montana, the federal government withheld tax money that was due them so that they could institute a 60-mile-an-hour speed limit. Now, if the federal government can do that and withhold tax money and, and punish states into submission, that's what scares me about a value add, or, you know... A, well, they did that in the 70s. They did that in the 70s. No, but I'm just saying, if you give them more power to... No, it's not more, but you're taking, you're taking power away. You're taking away the ability for them to tax your life energy, your income. You're taking away all of that bureaucracy, that 67,000 pages. And all those bureaucrats would have to find new jobs. All tax lobbyists would be unemployed because there'd be nothing to lobby for. So it's, it's taking power away. I mean, every objection to the fair tax, some are legitimate, some are people just don't understand don't exactly what it is. That. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But every objection that you have compared to what we have right now, and tell me it's not better. No tax. Well, that would be ideal. Yes. I would posit that if you end the Federal Reserve and then we're not printing our own money and having to pay interest on it, mm -hmm. almost all of our income tax goes not for any government services at all. It goes to pay interest on the debt. Yeah. And if we eliminate the Federal Reserve and we, we just were able to print our own money, not at interest, we would not need an income tax. We would not need the fair tax. We could survive on, on tariffs and excise taxes as they did originally. Yeah, exactly. That just dovetails with what that gentleman was saying. There. Repeat to me the first statement because I had something to add to that. Now I, I just drew a blank. Um, that if you ended the Federal Reserve, you would you would not need an income tax because the you would not be printing our own money at interest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, the interest rate on our national debt is about 1.3 percent. That's it because they kept interest rates artificially low. What's going to happen if that just goes up to normalized levels, five or six percent? You know? We couldn't pay it. Exactly. Hit the fan. Yes, sir. To answer your question, we need another Volcker, and it's going to be a nightmare. Um, in, in order to, to Volcker wants a bat. Um, now, Volcker's for the bat. You know that? What's that? He's for the VAT bat. Yeah, I, I disagree with him, but in terms of the austerity he did in the, the early 80s. But see, they can't raise interest rates to 20% because they can't pay the interest well, on the debt. So that's they're between a rock and a hard place. I they agree. don't have any silver bullets. What I wanted to ask you, though, is I agree that the, the flat tax is a, is a better solution than what we have now. Fair tax, not flat tax. It's different. Uh, okay. Uh, but part of the real problem we're having in economic destruction is a combination of the income tax, our intervention.